Hey everyone, this is Robbie, and today I wanted to show you guys a trick that I just learned and that I'm thrilled about. And it's using the Gwitzly image compression algorithm from Google with Image Optim to shave off a ton of file size from your images that you use on your website. So Image Optim is a free piece of software for OS X. By default, it does a lossless compression on your images. So even if you save a photo or an image for web in Photoshop, Image Optim will strip off all the metadata, it'll strip out any additional information that isn't needed. So it'll further reduce your file size without reducing the quality of the image. And Gwitzly, and forgive my, my German is not top notch, so I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but Gwitzly is a new algorithm that Google released within, I think, about a year. And it is way superior to the standard JPEG compression that is used when you save an image in Photoshop or out of Sketch or whatever your graphic editor tool of choice is. And Image Optum now has Gwitzly support. And on average, Gwitzly can save between 20 and 30% of the file size on your images, which is huge, right? If you're building a site that has a lot of images, um, 20 to 30% is a giant leap. So I'm a sucker for speed and optimization improvements. And when I discovered this, I've just been so jazzed about it. So let me show you what I did on our website. We recently updated this section down here where we show off Beaver Builder sites that are out in the wild. And we added this site from WP Engine. They just redid their site on Beaver Builder and it's beautiful. So we have these kind of relatively high fidelity screenshots. And I ran these screenshots through the new Gwitzly algorithm and I was able to drop like over 100 kilobytes from our page load just by optimizing these four images. It's huge, I'm, I can't tell you how, how thrilled I am about this. So let me show you how I went through and did this on our site. I came over here to the WP Engine homepage and then I popped open Chrome DevTools and I popped open this command menu here, which is really nifty. You can now take screenshots right from Chrome DevTools. So you can see capture full size screenshot here. We're gonna hit that. And then it's gonna download a screenshot there. So we're gonna take that screenshot and we're gonna pull it into Photoshop, like so. And then what I did was I cropped out, you know, all but the just kind of top half of this page, like to right about there. So then I reduced the width of this image to something like 600 pixels. Um, this is probably a little bit bigger than we have on the page, but you get the idea. And then from here, what I always do is save for web out of Photoshop. And when you save for web as a JPEG, you have this quality selector. And what I like to do is kind of feather this quality selector until I find a spot where the image quality visually looks about how I want it to look and the file size is as low as I can get it. And for me, I find that's usually somewhere between 35% and 60%, depending on the image and depending on how we're using it. Um, let's see here. So at 60, you can see down here, we're at 93K. If we go up to like 80, we're at 149K. If we go up to 85, we're at 170K. 170K for an image is huge. Like you really don't wanna be loading that on every page load for every user. So again, traditionally what I do is drop that down to somewhere in like the 40 range. And it like right around 57K, that's, that's acceptable for me. But with Gwitzly, what I do now is I just save this out at 100% quality and Google recommends using JPEGs at the best quality and the highest fidelity you can get and throwing them into this algorithm and letting them determine the best way to optimize it from there. So I'm gonna save this out to the desktop here. Okay, and then we're gonna move into Image Optim. So Standalone Image Optim is an awesome tool. You can drag your images in, and like I was saying, it will, uh, it will losslessly compress them. Uh, but what we wanna do is go into the settings, and we're gonna start tweaking some things, and we're actually gonna let Image Optim do the 
majority of the compression. So in the preferences here, if we go to general, by default, this Gwitsli option will not be checked. So you wanna check it. And then it gives you this kind of foreboding warning of it can take 30 minutes per image and your system may become unresponsive. I haven't noticed this to be a problem. Uh, if you were trying to optimize images like right out of your camera or something like that, I could see it becoming an issue, but it takes a little bit longer, but it, it's by no means been 30 minutes to, to do you know, web-sized and web-fidelity images. So with that enabled, I come over to the Quality tab, and then again, Enable Lossy Minification. This is not enabled by default. You want to enable it, and then you have the same JPEG quality slider here that probably looks familiar from Photoshop. And right now, I'm running at 85%. So that's, that's relatively high. The quality of image at 85% is visually much, much better, especially if you're working with like a high fidelity or a larger image. It just looks so much crisper and more detailed. Um, but like we saw in Photoshop at 85%, it was well over 100 kilobytes of image size. And it's that trade-off of quality versus image size. But check this out. With Gwitsli, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this guy in there and we're gonna let it think it's already knocked off 76% of the image size. So it dropped it from like, what was it, 230K over 200K to 68. And that's at 85% JPEG quality. So when that image loads on your website, it's gonna look better, it's gonna be crisper, and the size is the same that it would have been coming out of Photoshop at like a 30% or 35% quality. So I'm super excited as I make this video because I just absolutely love this new algorithm. And what I did was I went through all of the images on our homepage and ran them all through Gwitsli. And I was able to shave off a serious chunk of file size from our page load. So it saves us bandwidth and it enables our website to load faster, which in turn means people are gonna spend more time on the site. Um, it's gonna look better. It's, there's just nothing bad about this. So that's it. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. And then I will leave links to Image Optum and anything else that I mentioned in this tutorial down in the uh, video description. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.